everyone welcome to srihan academy youtube channel in this video we'll discuss one important five marks question from the chapter current electricity so we'll see this derive the expression for conductivity of material sigma is equal to n e square tau by m where the terms have their usual meanings or they'll ask in another way also derive the an expression for electrical conductivity of material in terms of relaxation time so this is the question here so first we'll see this we'll consider one conductor here of length l and area of cross section a This is the one conductor student here. Of length L and area of cross section A. Okay. Now we are connecting, we are applying an electric field E across the ends of the conductor. We are applying an electric field. That means we are connecting a battery across the ends of the conductor. So then the direction of electric field it is. This is the direction of electric field. So here conductor means there is a some free electrons, right? So whenever you apply the electric field, there is a some force is experienced on the electrons. Electrons is the negative charge. So what is the direction of force on the each electron it is opposite to the direction of electric field opposite to the direction of electric field. So here all the electrons are moving opposite to the direction of electric field. So like this. So what is the force here? We know the drift velocity also we have to keep in mind. So drift velocity means the average velocity of all the electrons is called drift velocity so drift velocity vd is equal to general formula when we have discussed in the different question e e by m into tau means relaxation time okay so small e indicates electron charge of electron capital e indicates electric field and m indicates mass so this is the drift velocity formula now here from this diagram what is the volume of the conductor volume of the conductor is equal to area into length let here small n be the number of free electrons free electrons per unit volume number of electron free electrons per unit volume of conductor okay now here what is the total number of electrons total number of electrons in that volume is equal to n into a into l so this is the total number of electrons present in that volume now what is the total charge total charge q is equal to total number of electrons into charge of each electron that is the small e now here but what is the current general formula current i is equal to q by t so we have to substitute this n a l e by t so here uh, l by t is nothing but drift velocity 
so if i substitute here i is equal to n e a v d so already i have given the v d formula n a e v d means e e by m into t so now here if i take the i is the cross a is the cross multiplication so i by a is equal to n e square capital e by m into t so here i by a is nothing but current density j so we can write in the brackets j is equal to i by a current per unit area is denoted letter i that is called current density so current density j is equal to n e square by m to t whole into e now we know the one general relation so that is the j is equal to sigma into e so if i compare these two equations lhs are equal we can equate rhs so that means sigma e is equal to n e square t by m into e so here e, e will get cancelled so sigma is equal to n e square t by m so this is the relaxation time in terms of sorry electrical conductivity in terms of relaxation time so thank you all it's very very most important five marks question from the current electricity chapter so if you are watching first time this uh, sriyan academy youtube channel please subscribe and click on the bell icon thank you all bye bye